Hello everyone, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielky and today's uh, project is to knit a hat just like the one I'm wearing. If you're working with very bulky yarn, uh, you need to cast on about 50 stitches for an adult hat. So this is my first row and I will knit and purl all stitches. I will alternate knit and purl stitches throughout the entire row. And then I will transfer all the stitches onto my double pointed needles. Let me show it to you with English style again. That's a knit. And this is purl stitch. English style. So yarn in the back. Now move yarn to the front. Push back. Yarn in the back. Knit stitch. Okay. So when I'm finished with my uh, knit and purl stitches and also when I transfer all my stitches to my double pointed needles, I will tell you what to do next. I transferred uh, all my stitches to three double pointed needles. Couple needles have 16 stitches, one has 18 stitches which makes 50 stitches altogether and now I am, I usually take this last stitch from previous row when you know when I am casting on I take it I twist it few times because it makes a big gap otherwise I already said it many many times in my videos and I put it uh, on this needle here when I am connecting it into a circle and then I knit the first and that added stitch together so I do not have extra stitch okay there and that's my first knit stitch and now we will do purl and knit and purl and just continue like this all around either continental way or English way whichever way you want and this is my second row so I will do including this row 11 more rows and I will have total 12 rows of knit and purl around okay knit and purl 12 knit and purl rows you need knit and purl knit and purl and let me show you actually how those 12 uh, knit and purl rows will look like when you're finished. So this is what I want you to do or you know this is what you should do with this type of hat okay. Now that I am finished with my 12 rows, we need to do our next step, which is uh, create this edge right here. Uh, as you notice, it's like the head is straight in here and then it goes, it goes flat in here, right? So it kind of goes into this angle. And it is very very simple way to do that uh, which is just knit two rows of purl stitches and it will make that angle there all right so just like I said you need to do purl stitches so do two rows of purl stitches just purl entire row two times Purl and purl and 
the uh, English way. The yarn is in front right and then you just wrap and push. Okay, and wrap and push. Okay, so um, when I'm finished I will show you what to do next. So I'm finished with my two rows of pearl stitches and uh, my next step is to knit five rows of knit stitches. But I will knit four rows of knit stitches and in the fifth row I will add my markers. I will place markers every ten stitches. So let's go and just knit and let me show it to you again with uh, English style. So knit four rows and then in the fifth row we will together place markers every ten stitches. So knit four rows. I am finished with my four rows of knit stitches and you can actually see already how it's forming that flat top right there on a you know on the top of the hat. Okay. Uh, and now this is our fifth row, and like I said, we will every uh, ten stitches we will add a, a marker. And actually I have this little marker here which does not fit uh, on my um, needles, so I made myself a marker um, that fits. So you may do the same. Okay. So let's knit ten stitches. One, two, eight, nine, ten. And we will place a marker on our needle and then we will do the same again. We will knit ten stitches and I have eight stitches right here. I know that because I had eighteen stitches on this needle. So over here I need to knit two more stitches to have ten stitches and you make sure that you place it every ten stitches otherwise it's not going to look very good on the top of the hat, okay? Okay, I placed I placed my markers every ten stitches and I have four markers here and I didn't need the fifth uh, marker because this is end of the row and this is beginning of the row and I know that because I have a tail over here so we don't need the last marker over here, okay? And now this is where we start decreasing every row. So we will always decrease by knitting two together, two stitches right here in front of the marker in every row. So we will knit first stitches until we reach last two stitches before the marker which we will knit two together. Okay. So in this case, in this row, we need to knit 8 stitches, so that's 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? And now the ninth and 10th we will go and knit both stitches together, knit 2 together. Move your marker, okay, and do the same thing again. You will knit eight stitches, eight stitches, and now we will knit two stitches together. and move the marker. 
Okay, and continue like this all the way to the end of the row. I am finished with my first row of decreasing and as you see again I am uh, at my beginning um, and so now we do the same thing exactly the same thing we will knit all the stitches until two last stitches before the marker and then we will knit these two together okay so we will knit all these stitches you don't even have to count but it really comes out that in a previous row we knitted eight stitches and now we will knit seven stitches and then we will knit last two stitches which is eighth and ninth stitch we will knit them together Okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and as you see, we need to move this one over, and let me move this like this, and then we need to knit these two together. All right. And now we will place our marker, we will move it to our uh, next needle and continue just like that. And now again, knit all these stitches, which I will knit six stitches and two together. Six stitches and two together, okay? and now we need to do knit five one two three four five knit two together knit five knit two together row again is knit four and knit two together the last ones before the marker And again, next row, knit three, two together, three, two together. And two together. In this row, we will knit two and then two together and repeat that all the way throughout the entire row oops one two and two together don't make any mistakes otherwise it's not going to look good I have 15 stitches all together so now we will just knit one and knit two together And actually we can start taking these away because this is our last row of decreasing and then we will just bind off uh, all stitches at the same time so you will knit one and two together and one and now two together need to move this one up let's take this off and this is our last decrease and, and so we knitted one and two together now we need to move those stitches on the hook so we can pull the pull the yarn through all the stitches okay and uh, if you have hook without the handle uh, you can do it with the back 
you know, um, uh, basically the, this beak um, facing going toward the yarn over here just like this but if you do have a handle then you have to go from this side you would have to because you would not be able to pull the stitches over the handle so you would have to go this way okay but I prefer really doing it this way without the handle so I have hooks without the handle I have hooks with handle see and then we will just take that yarn and turn the beak down pull on the stitches upward and pull all the stitches I mean the yarn through the stitches and one more time see my beak is facing the yarn it's in in that so I can go and put it on the on my beak on my hook and again you just hold it in here and turn the beak down push these up upwards and pull it through there and let me show it to you also with the one with the handle so with, without the handle I would go this way but with the handle I have to go this way so I will just move one stitch at a time and then I will grab it here and do the same thing big down push on kind of upwards and we bind off all stitches at the same time all right let's cut the yarn off and now we just can go and weave in both ends so here we are finished with our hat uh, if you want you can uh, share my video by pushing on the any uh, links below the video I thank you for it if you do that and uh, here is my other hat so you can compare they're same exactly the same same way but uh, this is from a different yarn I mean same uh, um, company and uh, same bulky yarn except different color um, so that's it thank you very much for watching my videos and I will see you another time